Well, that's the first thing that I like about him. He's getting better each and every week. But, you know, I guess the most part with Brent, I mean, he understands that for his success that he's had, he's got to have the other 10 players around him, got to perform at a high level too. And um, and then he's also very humble. Um, I think he's a great leader. Um, and I think that our players, uh, of course, have a lot of confidence and, I think part of it has to do with, with Brent. Uh, and at the same time, I think Brent has a lot of confidence right now and is playing at a high level because of the other 10 players that are around him. Those uh, really good. And, and we have a lot of those guys like Mitch Foote, Kowalski Irvin, Drake Smithton, um, guys that have been around, you know, that Brent's been throwing to those guys for the past three years. So, uh, and then we're also having some younger guys, some new guys that are, getting their opportunity now that are stepping up. And I think they really feed off one another too. I really do. And, and um, you know, Brent's going to put it where it needs to be. And well, at the same time, those guys are, are making great catches too as well. That's the one thing about the MIAA this year. There's a lot of teams that I don't even know if I want to say that they're struggling, but their record's not very good. And number one is I think that has to do a lot with the conference, how tough it is. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of teams that, you know, I go back to even to Central Oklahoma when they were 0-4. I was telling somebody today, they're a very, very scary 0-4 team, just like Lindenwood. You know, they're setting at 1-3 and right now, and they have a lot of talent. Uh, they won a big game, first game of the year. They beat Washburn, so they can get it done. Uh, there's just, throughout the course of the year, I mean, turnovers, breaks, bad things happen to teams. And it's sometimes those are hard to overcome in the MIAA because it's such you have to be ready to play each and every Saturday. And so uh, their talent level is not as a one and three team. You know, I think that our guys just really look forward to playing. They love playing at home, but I, I think going on the road, uh, they like it, too, because we're able to kind of get away and, and be together as a team, uh, specifically on Friday night and so yeah, I think I think our guys are just looking forward to play, and I don't, you know, sometimes they don't look forward to those practices uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And the closer it gets to game time, they get a little bit more uh, anxious. So uh, yeah, I, I I think our guys are definitely used to it, and and hopefully uh, our players are continuing to want to get better. And I see that in practice. Now we'll find out Saturday. Yeah, our receiving core does a great job each and every day, just getting better. They make my job easy, and, you know, our coaching staff has done a tremendous job just drawing up a great game plan each week for us. And it just comes down to execution, and our guys have done that each week, you know, just making some great plays. Um, just working hard each 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 play and each game, and they make my job easy, and, that, and that's why uh, we've been scoring points and uh, putting up a lot of good numbers. Yeah, definitely, you know, they beat Washburn, and Washburn beat Pitt, you know, so – uh, we don't look look uh, look over anyone, especially in this league. Each game, each game, each week, uh, is we have to go out there and execute. And Lindenwood, you know, they play hard, they play physical, and so um, all all it comes down to is just execution for us. And we're just looking for another great great opportunity in Lindenwood, and hope to come out with a win.